everyone, it's Princess Lay here and I'm back with another video. This video I wanted to upload and share with you guys before I, I announce the winners tomorrow. Really, I'm going to give everyone um, some very good information. In case you didn't win or I didn't choose you, um, I just wanted to make this information available to all of you guys. So I thought it would be fair and um, I thought it would be pretty cool if you guys can just, you know, follow these 10 steps on how to gain weight. So number one, you want to set a goal, most importantly. You want to set a goal and um, basically that means how much do you want to how much do you want to gain? Like how much do you want to weigh? Um, usually like most of you that have been emailing me, you always um, tell me about your weight gaining stories and everything and I always ask you when I respond, I always ask you, what is your weight goal? Like how much do you weigh now and how much do you want to weigh? So that's what you have to really focus on. Like how much are you now? And set a realistic weight gain goal for yourself. Like don't try to, you know, you're one, say you're, you're like 90 something pounds and you want to be 150 January, the beginning of the year. That's not really that realistic. So just set yourself a realistic goal, something that's achievable that you can, you know, aim for and, um, you know, get to. Number two would be to go shopping. Uh, weight gain, you're going to be eating a lot of food, you're going to be eating a lot of items. Um, most importantly, just find foods that are high in ca calories when you are shopping for your foods. And usually you can find the calorie, um, you can find how much the calories are if you look on the back of the, uh, the product label or whatever. You usually can find how many calories that product is. Excuse me if the background is really loud. My daughter's in the bathtub and my husband is watching a very loud movie. Um, however, this is like the only time I could find to record, so hopefully you guys can understand. Number three, when it comes to eating, eat a lot of protein. And that means eggs, beans, fish, um, things like that. Just eat a lot of protein. Even if you, um, there are actually, there are a lot of protein shakes out there. There are a lot of protein bars if you want to eat protein um, in a snack or something like that. Number four. You want to eat at least four to six times a day, okay? And always make sure you're staying full. That's why I say four to six times a day because usually you can eat lunch. Your typical meal day is like lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner. But in the middle of those two times, you want to eat a snack or something, you know, something that's going to keep you full because between breakfast and lunch, you might get hungry. You might, not even that, you might not even get just hungry, but you know that your body's not full. Like, it usually takes, what, like an hour or so for your food to digest or whatever. Um, I don't know the actual time frame on that, so don't, like, don't quote that. But, um, yeah. after your food digests, you're not full anymore. Like, your stomach has enough room to put more food in it. So try to find a snack, something, maybe a, maybe a, um, um, a protein shake or a nutrient drink or whatever. Try to find something like that to, in between meals, like so you can kind of you know weigh that out. So basically, like I said, that four to six times a day would include breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I usually for breakfast I usually eat um, eggs, grits, waffles, um, and veggie sausage or hash browns. Lately, we've been eating a lot of oatmeal and cream of wheat. Sometimes cereal, but that doesn't really hold me over because I'm usually always hungry right after I eat cereal. Um, lunch, I may do like um, a peanut butter and jelly um, or a leftover dinner. Sometimes, honestly, you guys, I've been eating out a lot. So I, I haven't really even been keeping track of what I've been eating for lunch because we've been eating out a lot. Like, we've been eating out a lot from Wendy's, Taco Bell, all these different places in Miami that I'm just like starting to find and I'm liking. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm going food crazy because I love food. I love the temptation. I just, I've been everywhere, to be honest. Um, for dinner, I usually do things like pasta, salmon, fried fish, um, beans, rice, vegetables. Um, and also, guys, make sure you watch the calories. Make sure everything that you're eating has a significant amount of calories. And, you know, just make sure you're eating healthy at the end of the day. Like, you don't want to be, you know, you don't, you don't want to be trying to consume all these unhealthy foods. Because I know there's people out here trying to gain weight and thinking that that's the way to go. But honestly, it's not. Because at the end of the day, you feel like a fat, sluggy slob. And you don't want to be feeling like that because then you got a gut that you can't get rid of. And that's a big problem. And that's something that I, I definitely can't help y'all with at this point. <laughs> Number five, um, buy a good but affordable nutrition drink. Like I said, I recommend Nutriment because you can buy it by the can. It's not expensive. It's less than $2. Um, I mean, if you want to spend money, some people have food stamps. Um, sometimes WIC gives it, a, um, gives it to you. Um, the insurers and um, the boost drinks. 
And sometimes if you guys have doctors, um, your doctor can prescribe you or give you like a, not really a prescription, but it's like a paper that like you can go um, and get it from like a WIC office or something like that. Or store brand versions of um, the Boost and the Insure drinks. So usually they're like, say for instance, if you see Insure and Walgreens, then they Walgreens will have their brand of it as well, which is usually cheaper. Like sometimes um, you will find insurance for like $8, Walgreens version will be like $6. So, I mean, you're saving a little bit, but if you want to buy it by the pack, that's what I recommend. But if you want to buy the singles in a can, just buy the Nutrimix. Because they're very good. Actually, the Nutrimix are very, very good. The texture of Nutrimix is just like chocolate milk. If you like the chocolate flavor, vanilla, they taste really good. And they're made by Nestle, so it's kind of like, it kind of gives that, you know, Kind of has that Nestle type chocolate milk taste. Um, number six, I recommend taking a multivitamin. And you want to make sure that you're balancing out your diet. So that's why I recommend a multivitamin because you want to make sure that you're getting all the vitamins and nutrients that nutrients that your body needs. Um, let's see, prenatal vitamins are also good. Um, Women's Day vitamins um, also has a good vitamin, multivitamin. Um, exercise which is something I've been slacking on, not even gonna lie, I've been slacking on my exercising. But you, when you exercise, I don't mean do some serious big weightlifting, going to gym and you know, no, you don't want to break a sweat too much. As a matter of fact, I don't even recommend working out long periods of time. Do a simple 10 to 15 minute workout a day. Find something that's comfortable, that you're comfortable with. Focus on the parts of your body that you want to focus on as far as, like me personally, I chose my butt and my legs and my stomach, which I'm still working on. But, I chose my legs and my stomach, and for legs, I did leg press, and I did um, I did lunges, and I did, um, what else did I do for legs? That's about it, I did leg press and I did lunges. For my butt, I did squats, and I also, um, for my stomach, I did leg raises, I did, um, I did pull-ups or sit-ups, and uh, that's about it um, that I can think of right now. So, Number eight, most importantly, out of everything, if, if there's a anything that you don't remember, remember this. Be consistent. This is everything, you know, to me and this whole weight gaining journey. Focus on your goal. Don't give up. Nothing happens overnight. Be patient and love your body. You have to love your body because if you love your body, it'll do what you want it to do. Okay? Don't, oh, this is too much. Don't stress yourself out because when you're stressing mentally, you're stressing physically. Like, we don't know how much our minds and our bodies work together, so you have to really focus your mind and your body, become one, and just love yourself all together. Basically, it will eventually do what you want it to do. It may not happen, results may not happen right away. If it's not between two weeks, um, I would say give it at least two to two weeks to a month. Um, like my husband, he, saw, he started seeing results within the first month, and that's because he was very consistent, he didn't give up, he loved his body, and you know, he treated his body like he loved it. He stayed healthy, you know, he stayed working out, he stayed eating right, so yeah. Um, number nine, don't quit, because if, when it looks like it's not working, it's working, because that's what happened to me. I just, I didn't quit, I didn't, I didn't put it in my mind that I was gonna quit, but eventually I kinda fell off a little bit, I was like, oh, I, I just wasn't so focused on my goal anymore, it's kinda like, I, I still ate, I still did everything that I was doing, but I wasn't so much of like, pushing myself. But once I stopped doing that, it seemed like, it just started working, like, so, don't quit, don't just up and give it, give it up, because you're letting yourself down, like, don't do that. Um, just, keep going. Um, number 10, track your weight, this is another important step, Track your weight. I usually weigh myself before I go to bed at night, and I weigh myself when I wake up in the morning. That way you know where you stand. That way you know, you know, if you've gained, if you've lost, what you need to do, you know, how much you need to eat, you know, everything. That That's everything. So make sure you do that. Buy it. You can buy a scale. Publix has a scale. You can go to push. You're not going to drive to Publix every day, but usually if I see a Publix, I always go to their scale. Like any, any store. Like I'll go in Target because I don't have a scale in my house right now, but I'll go to Target and open up a brand new scale and stand on it just to see how much I weigh.